and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with the 28th installment of May I Scrap Lift You. And today on the list is Kelly Pyron. And so this is the layout I picked out. So cute. I love these pictures and I loved the clustering on the top left and the bottom right. I got lots and lots of embellishments with this kit still. And so I really wanted to use, get, find some layouts that I could really use some, um, uh, embellishments. So this paper, yes, it has a hole in it, <laughs> but it's still going to be my base page, but the pictures are going to help cover it. And then I'm going to use this red polka dotted paper to mat my pictures. And, um, my pictures are my mom and my nephew, and I love them so much. This is the day he graduated and they're just special pictures and <laughs> so I'm excited to get them documented. I pulled out a bunch of the ephemera florals so that I could use those for the majority of the clustering and so that way I could get a bunch of that used up but I also have all of these other embellishments and I think that I have probably done at least six, seven, possibly eight layouts for graduation already and still have all of these embellishments. I must have ordered the extended embellishment kit for this specific um, collection. So um, once I get those matted and down, I will get that hole in the middle covered up so it'll be fine. So I've got my papers. I have my embellishments. All my embellishments. I have these super fabulous pictures of my nephew and my mom. And I have this awesome layout to scrap lift. So let's see how this goes. So first things first, I cut this paper down to four and a quarter and of course by 12. And then I'm going to trim my pictures just enough to where I can put both of them on that 12 by four and a quarter. And so, um, and then I'm also going to cut my paper down after I get my pictures matted and everything. I'm going to cut my paper down and mat the whole thing. But first I put my pictures down and I'm going to mat these red and pink polka dots on this black. So I think it helps it stand out, which is also why I decided to mat the entire layout in black. So first I'm going to get the pictures down. Um, I start to layer them right here, but then I want to use the measuring on my mat. I know, surprising. I don't always do that. I usually just wing it, but I wanted this to be more along the lines of straight um, than cockeyed. I am going to, or I, okay, I'm not going to, I already did. <laughs> I'm going to distress the edges all the way around of my entire layout. I cut a half an inch off the top and the side. So it gives me a quarter inch border all the way around. And then I got the pictures down there and now I am going to just start building my clusters. Now my pictures are down a little further than hers. Hers are more up in the middle, but because of where the hole in the paper was, I was a little bit restricted, but I'm okay with that. It's a bigger cluster at the top and a smaller one at the bottom. I love how this layout turned out. I just sent it to my mom before I got on here to do the voiceover so she could see the pictures and she loved it. So I am super excited with how it turned out. Um, so then the other thing I wanted to mention is I am going to bring in, my title is going to be a little bit different. Her title um, is on the bottom right of the bottom right picture and I think it says something like joyful or something like that it's hard I can't read it on here because <laughs> it's so small um the little picture up at the top is so small um so but I'm going to use that be amazing and I don't want to put it in that corner because it might cover over his certificate so I'm going to put mine down a little bit further but still in that same general area so I take this frame and I cut it in half and I put a piece of it behind the left picture and a piece of it behind the right picture. She has a bunch of different layers, it looks like, behind her pictures. And because I am trying to stretch my paper and I don't have a lot of scraps except some branding strips, I did not bring in more paper other than what I've already got. And I'm okay with that. I love, like I said, the way this turns out. It's very full and very colorful. Uh, this has been a really fun collection to work with. 
and I started using it because it had a lot of words in it that was really fitting for a graduation. So I am um, glad that I got, I pulled this out to look for it because I have put my hip kit stuff in a different place than the rest of my collections and not far off, but still not in the same place as my other stuff. And so I forget that it's there and I get mad at myself because I do that. <laughs> so I'm determined to get the things out. Now, a couple of them are like winter and Christmas. So until I'm ready to start scrapbooking that stuff, um, you know, I'm not going to be using those. But the other ones I need to get out and get used. So I am now going to work on where I'm going to put this title. And I just keep adding little things up at the top. I mean, I clustered up a bunch of florals up there and leaves. And I'm going to add some butterflies in a little bit. Um, but I put this title down here that says Be Amazing. And um, I'm going to add to that because uh, <laughs> my nephew, if you, well, you would never guess. My nephew is just now graduating from middle school. He is 13. Now, my mother is not itty bitty. <laughs> She's like five foot six or something like that. My nephew, on the other hand, is almost six foot three at 13 years old. He is taller than anyone else in our family. My father was the tallest and he was six foot one, um, probably six two back in his younger year. And so, um, <laughs> My nephew tall, towers over everyone. He's taller than anyone in his class. He's probably taller than most of the people at the high school. He's a, a very tall kid and, of course, very slender, which makes him look even taller. So um, we joke with him all the time about how short he is. So um, I, I'm going to add, if I haven't already, I'm going to add some alphas. No, I haven't done it yet. Um, down here between the be amazing and then I just put down a you're one of a kind because he definitely is love this kid so much um, and I also put a little um, label over there that says captured originally I thought I'd tuck that in up at the top but I didn't do that and now I have a little space to make a little journal because these pictures um, are so fun and special because we had just had dinner and my mom wanted a picture of course with my nephew and we were standing there and I took the picture and she said oh take one more and I did and she just looked up at him and the big smile on her face makes my heart just giddy and the fact that she <laughs> has to look up so high at this poor 13 year old child oh bless him so anyway I love this picture so I changed the title or added to the title now it says be amazing shorty so <clears throat> but and then I added the date with that same alphas so that is it. It was a really easy layout. I think that this took me about 35 minutes. Um, mostly it was clustering and um, I just had so much fun building on that and using the the embellishments and stuff up. So here is the close-ups. Oh, like I said, I just love this. I hope you'll go and check out Kelly's Instagram. Her information will be down below in the description box, as well as the playlist for May I Scrap Lift You will be down there. There is going to be 31 days of fantastical inspiration and different ways for people to um, inspire and encourage. So have a great day and happy scrapping.